Howdy folks, it's me, Manic Mark, coming to you from the bunker system. I'm just going to cram four redo paintings together today. Even paintings that I re redid about two weeks ago, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now is talk about politics, which I say I'm never going to do. So if I cut this out, it's ideas based on human nature, what human beings need, which is freedom to do what they want to do and to achieve to a level that they can achieve to without being intertwined or being suppressed or being manipulated to do other things by government. Cut it out and cut it all out. I'm even cutting that part out. Even cutting the part out where I explain about the part I cut out, why I cut it out. I don't care about all that. That's why I'm cutting it out. I explain the cutting out exp explanation why I cut out. Never mind. Go to the paintings. The first redo is a painting. I got up one day and I didn't have any ideas so I painted the dining room. This is my dining room. The redo, I managed to work in a man-sized bunny, armless man-sized bunny, an atomic explosion. In the original painting there was a um, an elephant character, like a leprechaun. He's still there. There's the, 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 hot, the ghost in the mirror. She's still there. There's Hoover. He's looking kind of mean. He never looks that mean. I think he's maybe afraid that the giant armless man-sized bunny is going to take his treats. There's the atomic age lamp, the stick plant, the time vortex. That's new. I put that in there. I originally had a box of Fruit Lips. I changed that to a box of breakfast blood tablets. Mmm, Mom, can I have some more blood tablets? They're mm -mm, good. I don't know. I just came up with it and I put it in there. What's next? The next painting is the painting I redid not too long ago, which was the Becky Ryan painting. Leave poor Becky alone. You keep bringing her back up. I'm not going to stick any songs. I'm not going to do anything. Just really didn't like what I'd done. I can't even believe I put it up on the screen. Speaking of put it up on the screen, I've been putting them up on the screen, haven't I? I hope so. Okay. The other one was that song, Blood on Your Face. I looked at it and I didn't like it. I got so much better in two weeks. I'm, re I'm redoing paintings from two weeks ago, which are much, much better now. Can they possibly get any better? Apparently, because I keep redoing them. Damn it! And last but not least, I really aggravated myself with my um, pre-Manic Mark show dialogue rant there, which I'm going to cut out. and Maybe I'll put a snippet of it in. It, tr it drives me crazy. They, nobody can let anybody alone, leave anybody alone. It all has to do based with control, based on manipulation and, and, and fear. Just a snippet. I don't know. Anyway. This is the, the heating, home heating painting, a long time ago. And this is a really, reasonably new one for you, my friends. The few friends who are hanging out, <laughs> supporting Manny Mark. And I really appreciate it because I'm in the bunker and I'm really isolated here. <laughs> this is like a job. I know you think I'm crazy when I say that, but I approach this like a job. And compulsive work habits compulsive. Never mind. Cut that. I'm cutting that part out too. Back to the home heating. I explained the whole, my whole home heating deal with this painting. I've got an oil furnace. There's the, there's the, the tank, the oil tank. The guys, there's the guy filling up the oil tank. The furnace is in the middle. I cut firewood. I split the firewood. I put, I stacked the firewood. I unstack it. I throw it in the truck. I drive up to the house. I throw it up from the back of the truck, up over my head. <laughs> onto the back porch. I stack it up again for the most part. I have the, the fireplace with the insert with the blower motors and I have a, a, a um, heat pump. One of the first ones put in the area. It's still working. Probably because I hardly ever use it. But it's still working. A heat exchanger. That's on the outside. There's the nuclear power plant, which isn't a nuclear power plant because we wasted so much money building the damn thing and it was not built right. It was totally mis-engineered. So now it's a coal fire plant. You can see the steam plumes on a nice day across the valley. And I got a fossil fuel kit. So what happens is down to 36 degrees I've got it set out. The heat pump will run. It's like three dollars to every dollar you spend. It, it, it pulls heat in from the outside. When it's hot in the summer it pulls heat from the outside and it puts it in through to the to the from the inside puts it through to the outside when it gets below 36 degree there's a kit that switches from the heat pump to the fossil fuel 
which is the oil furnace which burns, but to supplement my heat and to cut down on the heat belt, this is, yeah, fuel is very expensive. I have a burn wood. Okay. Well, I still can. It's getting to be really, really hard. Usually in the summer, up until last year, I noticed, I kind of look forward to cutting the wood, finding the wood, which is hard to find somebody who will let you cut wood. I live in a car damn cardboard box under the bridge. See there, that was sort of what the, their lead-in ramp rant was all about. But this is a two-in-one painting. I just wanted to say this is a two-in-one painting. On the back, you've got me thanking the fossil fuel gods for providing human beings with wood and coal and oil to burn, to stay warm, and to make plastic parts for flat screen TV sets. Very important. Thank you, God, for that. So I've got me and I've got the dog, I've got the fossil fuel god on to hovering over the planet Earth, belching wonderful black smoke into the atmosphere. Woo! Boy, that was a video. Thanks for stopping by.